This is Satwiner Singh during a January court appearance. Two months later, he died in the Hamilton County Justice Center. Today, we learned Singh overdosed on the powerful opioid fentanyl. The case against Singh was one that that touched us all very deeply. Singh was the driver who killed two-year-old Damian Turner. Late last year, Damian's family was crossing the Hopple Street overpass when Singh's pickup truck hit Damian, who was in a stroller on a sidewalk. Detectives think Singh was under the influence at the time. They say he left the scene and was found passed out in a parking lot. Today, a grand jury indicted 27-year-old jail inmate Kadeem Kelly, saying he supplied Singh with a drug that killed him. I asked Sheriff Jim Neal if demand for illicit drugs is high in the Justice Center. And once it gets in, it's, it's a market. You're absolutely right. Prosecutor Joe Dieters lamented that fact, but said he's most upset Damian Turner's family won't have their day in court with Singh. But the reality is he's dead, so, you know, good riddance. Now, the suspect in Singh's death, Kadeem Kelly, faces up to 20 more years in jail if convicted. Also, Sheriff Neal says his department is taking new steps to crack down on drugs making their way into the Justice Center. Reporting live tonight, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. All right.